don't you tell us your name and what you're doing here today? Well, my name is Kathy Dion, and I'm playing the concertina, which is uh, kind of like an accordion, only different. <laughs> it's much smaller, of course, and uh, it plays different notes when you push the bellows together, and then when you pull them apart. Unlike an accordion, where if you push and pull, you're getting the same note. But um, this is an instrument that originated in Germany uh, back in the early 1800s and was brought over to this country and they brought it across uh, on the Western migration and um, it, it was kind of popular because it was easy to carry and it was used a lot for dances and that sort of thing. It's also, it was also used on ships um, which to me is pretty astounding because it has reeds and it can be sensitive to climate and a ship is pretty damp. <laughs> but um, if you were the musician on, a, on a, say, a whaling ship or something like that, uh, you were a pretty important person. You kept time to the sailors' chores, their uh, rigging activities and that sort of thing. Uh, you were considered part of the uh, upper classes of the crew, I guess. Um, and then it fell out of favor, I would say, in the late 1890s, early uh, 1900. Um, and then it, it experienced a comeback like around the, when the folk music was coming back in the early 60s, late 50s, early 60s, uh, and especially in Ireland. And now it's very popular in Irish music, uh, which is a, a different style. It uh, was very popular in England and still is for the Morris dancing that they do over there. Uh, and that, actually, that's the kind of music I like to play. I like to play a lot of the English stuff. Um, and then, um, it's like the perfect instrument for Christmas music. I like it because uh, it's kind of complete in and of itself. You can play just a simple melody on it. Or you can play... the melody on it. Um, it, it has uh, a fairly broad range and people who don't know too much about the instrument think it's really quite limited, but it, but it isn't. <laughs> and, and I've been playing this for about uh, 10 years and uh, I'm always learning something new, learning new tunes, learning new chords learning new styles of play. The style I play is called harmonic, which is like uh, the melody on the right hand, accompanied by chords on the left hand, mainly. Um, and this time of year, I just love to play Christmas music. <laughs> how did you learn how to play this instrument? Well, sort of self-taught. I, I actually, after I retired, in uh, 2014, I was looking through a bunch of stuff at home and found a, a concertina in a garbage can at my home. Um, and it was, it was almost a toy. It was a really chintzy instrument. But I picked it up and I started playing things like uh, Home on the Range and Oh Susanna, just really simple American tunes. And then I, I liked it so much, I bought a better instrument. And then I finally bought this instrument, which is, um, this is a very good quality, handmade, uh, almost a custom-made instrument. They can be pretty expensive. And some of the Irish makers of concertinas are in such great demand that you have to wait like six years if you're Ooh. buying a new instrument. There are used instruments out there and refurbished older instruments, but they're very expensive and hard, hard to find. So I was lucky to get this one, and, and I love it. <laughs> and I play at the Eli Stage Stop with the uh, Fiddlers, the Old Time Fiddlers Club, 
uh, every first Sunday of every month at the Eli Stage Stop. And they, they play from 12 to 2. And how long have you been doing that? Uh, probably about eight years now. When I, when I first started there, I think I could only play like Oh Susanna, just a really couple of simple tunes, but they were really nice about including people and new musicians and and uh, and now I'm you know playing most of the tunes that they that they play uh, on a regular basis. So it's it's so much fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a free event for everybody. They serve food and uh, beer and wine and and. Uh, and of course, there's the museum there. It's it's a great way to spend the first Sunday of every month, I think. And have you always lived in Lake County? I've lived here for 23 years now. Before that, I lived in Calistoga, and before that, L.A. So, but and I like I like Lake County. Did you study music in college? Uh, I did. I was raised in a family of musicians, so that, and that actually. Uh, helped me a lot when I discovered the concertina. Um, I hadn't really done anything with music for about 30 years. Um, and as soon as I started playing, it all, it all came back. I, I can read music and the, I understood the time signatures and the key signatures and, and uh, a lot of the stuff I learned many, many years ago. It's like riding a bicycle. You never forget. <laughs> But, uh, but I play it almost every day, uh, and, uh, and it's just it's so much fun. I wish I had discovered this, oh, 50 years ago. <laughs> I might be really good now. <laughs> Would you play something for us? Sure, I'll play some Christmas music.
acoustics in here. <laughs> See, it makes you smile, right? Oh, it does. <laughs> oh, I love it. I like to think of it as an organ inside of a tiny box. <laughs> Any requests? Do you know Silver Bells? I do if Don was here. <laughs> oh, no. How about Jingle Bells? And one of your Irish songs? Shebeg and Shamor, and its its meaning is big hills, little hills, oh. and Irish, Irish too. Uh, since it was on ships, do you know any sea shanties? I do. I don't know any shanties. I know a, a tune. It's called New Rigged Ship. Let's see if I can remember it.
also known as green sleeves. Yeah. What uh, about I saw three ships. Yes. <laughs> I like that kind of bouncy yeah, little peppy. Sounds like a calliope. <laughs> <laughs> I just need a monkey over here, right? <laughs> Dancing around. Uh, let's see. How about, oh, this is my, my favorite Christmas tune. Thank you so much for playing for the camera. Oh, thanks for having me.